Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Want to apologize for not releasing anything on Sunday. Um, I am releasing a 30 minute message today. It's actually 36 minutes because I just keep on talking, can't keep my mouth shut. It's a good thing I'm on YouTube, have an outlet for all that wonderful, vivacious energy and talkativity. That's a word now that I want to unleash. Apologies for not releasing things yesterday like I should have. I'm releasing two preaching videos, one being a 30 minute one or 36 minute one today. And I'm also releasing two video game videos videos, both Dark Souls 2 actually, videos today as well. Please enjoy them and look forward to them. And right now this is going to come from Nehemiah chapter 9. And this is kind of sort of a follow-up to the 30-minute message where I talked about God's wrath. This kind of talks about how God is good and how we deserve His wrath. And it just all of Nehemiah 9, the entire thing... Um, I would encourage you, of course, to read the entire Bible, but I'd really encourage you to read Nehemiah 9. I feel like when I read it, I was reading a really good summary of the entire Old Testament. Like, here's what God's people did, and here's what God did in response. Uh, the second one was a little off screen. I apologize. Here's what God's people did, and here was God's response. There we go. That was better. So, yeah, I would really encourage you all. It's a bit of a long chapter. It's 38 verses, but they're kind of long verses, but I'd still encourage you to read it because it is good, good stuff. So I'm going to start at just verse 13 to give a little sample. You came down also on Mount Sinai and spoke with them from heaven and gave them just ordinances and true laws, good statutes and commandments. You made known to them your holy Sabbath and commanded them precepts, statutes, and laws by the hand of Moses your servant. You gave them bread from heaven for their hunger, and brought them water out of the rock for their thirst, and told them to go in to possess the land which you had sworn to give them. But they and our fathers acted proudly, hardened their necks, and did not heed your commandments. They refused to obey, and they were not mindful of your wonders that you did among them. But they hardened their necks, and in their rebellion they appointed a leader to return to their bondage. But you are God, ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger, abundant in kindness, and did not forsake them. And yes, God's judgment and wrath did come down and kill some people, but he never wiped them out completely. Even sometimes when he was like, you know, Moses, I'm going to wipe them all out except for you, and Moses prayed, God, please don't do that. God listened. God listened. And some were killed, but a lot were left alive. God, we talk so much about the anger and the wrath of God in the Old Testament. We need to keep in mind, we have a bunch of people seeing God in person, okay? We're talking about specific, this particular verse is dealing with the time of Moses and the Exodus. Uh, we have the pillar of cloud by day and the, um, and the um, pillar of fire by night. Manna, every single day that they're eating. So they have visible, miraculous things going on, and they still rebelled. And God did not judge them or pour out his wrath on them as they deserved. He was kind, he was merciful, he was gracious. He's a good, loving, forgiving God. And we are a sinful, stiff-necked, rebellious people. And a lot of the times, we look at God and like, God's such a meanie, God's such a meanie. We're still alive, and we've sinned. We really don't deserve a bunch of kindness and a bunch of goodness, but God gives it to us anyway because He loves us. He wants to give us second chances and two thousandth chances. And He's a good God. Even when His judgments or like I see a father spanking their child when his spankings hurt, He's still a good God. And when He does take some lives, those of us who are left behind still on this side, not facing eternal judgment yet, it's time for us to recheck ourselves, to recheck our lives, to rethink things, and to realize we really don't deserve much better. We don't deserve some good, grandiose treatment. We deserve God's wrath. We have sinned. But God in His mercy, in His goodness, and His grace, and His love and forgiveness does not give us what we deserve. He keeps giving us those second chances, those two thousandth chances, those two millionth chances. He did in the Old Testament and he does it today. Because he's loving, gracious, merciful, forgiving, abundant, and abounding in loving kindness and graciousness. And I just want to follow up the whole wrath message with this message. It was just the chapter I read today, and it was just it was this amazing follow-up to the 30-minute message. So 
If you want to check out that 30 minute message if you have the time. Um, I enjoyed preaching it. Um, I usually do. And hopefully it'll be um, something ministering and edificial to you. And hopefully this was something that'll kind of make you rethink the whole God's a mean God, God's an angry God. Hopefully this will help you to rethink those things as well. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you and God bless.